Artificial intelligence AI trending a lot in today's world. Because if you see, all the companies have started using the artificial intelligence in their product implementation. Because of that, they're looking for lots of developers, those who are familiar with these kinds of technology. So inside artificial intelligence, we are having various kinds of sectors like machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, natural language processing, generative AI, MLOps, and so on. So nowadays, if you want to crack any kinds of job, you have to familiar with these are the technology. And if you want to learn these are the technology, the first thing you have to learn the programming language. But there are thousands of programming languages are available. Which one you have to choose? If you want to start your career with the artificial intelligence, generative AI, machine learning, deep learning, and so on, you have to choose one specific programming language called Python programming language. Because Python is an open source and very popular programming language in the field of artificial intelligence. And whenever you are working as a developer in a company, you have to implement end-to-end -end projects with these kinds of technology. To implement these kinds of end-to-end -end projects, you should know advanced programming concept and modular design. So if you don't know about programming and if you want to start your career with the programming and if you want to learn how to implement these kinds of end-to-end -end projects in the industry, I'm happy to announce that I'm coming up with the complete Python course for you. So here we'll be covering basics to advance of the Python. Here we'll be learning each and everything you need to master the Python. Like here we'll be starting from the very basics and we'll try to complete till advanced part of the programming so that you can also master the modular coding. So this skill will help you a lot whenever you will be implementing any kinds of end-to-end -end product. And after completing this particular course, you can be a data scientist, you can be a generative engineer, you can be a MLOps engineer, anywhere you can switch your career. So in this course, you will get more than 100 plus recording covered all the Python concept. Even you will also get so many mega projects to practice. So whether you are a beginner and you want to start your career with the programming, this course is for you. So before starting the course, let me show you the course content, like what are the topics we're gonna cover throughout our entire course. So guys, here you can see I have designed this course in a such a way so that if you are a completely beginner in the field of programming, you will be able to master this Python. Okay, that should be my promise. Only what you need to do, you just need to complete this particular course till the end. And after that, I believe definitely you will become champion in the Python programming. So here you can see guys, I will start with the introduction and basics of Python like we'll be learning about syntax, variables and so on. Then we'll be starting with the conditional statement, peep modules, then we'll be also learning about loops inside Python, string inside Python. Then we'll be also discussing about some advanced Python data types and data structure like list, tuples, sets, dictionary, okay, and so on. Then once we complete these are the data structures, we'll be starting with the functional programming inside Python like what is function, how we can write a function and all. Then we'll be also learning about virtual environments and the requirements like what is the use of virtual environments and requirements inside of Python and why we need it actually whenever we'll be implementing any kinds of project. Then once these are the topic is covered, we'll be starting with something called file handling, exception handling, logging inside Python. Then after that, we'll be implementing some of the mega project. So this mega project will give you the entire idea how we can use this Python programming in real world use cases. After mega project implementation, we'll be learning some additional topics. Then we'll be also learning how we can solve our day-to-day -day problems with the help of Python. Apart from that guys, we'll be learning advanced Python programming like OOP concept, object oriented programming inside Python. So trust me guys, the way I have designed this OOP inside this course, you will be able to understand very easily. Okay, that should be my promise. Here I have given lots of, let's say, real world example and we'll be uh, doing the hands-on unless and until you are not doing hands-on with the OOP, OOP won't be clear in your mind. I know that. That's why I have given so many examples, so many exercises of the OOP. So this concept would be more clear in your mind after completing this course. Then we'll be learning one very demandable topic inside Python called modular coding inside Python because if you see uh, data science, machine learning, generative AI, whatever field, uh, there actually people will be implementing end-to-end -end projects and, and to implement these kinds of end-to-end -end projects, you need these are the skill like modular coding skill because you have to design the entire software and how we can perform the code management, how we can uh, design the, let's say, entire code, entire software, everything will be learning in this modular coding part. So once we covered each and everything, then again, we'll be learning about some of the mega project. So again, this mega project will give you each and every idea, like how we can use this advanced coding skill, okay, to implement any kinds of software. So yes, guys, this is the entire curriculum. So make sure you complete this course till the end. Till then, wish you all the best.